When you want to check if someone is alive, you check for their pulse. If it doesn't exist, then they're dead. The same thing with music. If it's pulseless, it's not alive. Welcome back to Joy of Practicing. I'm your host, Ferdi Talan. Not to be mistaken as beats, pulse is much more than numbing your ears and soul practicing to the beat of a metronome. To me, it's the differentiation of sound to create an oscillating effect. Consider four quarter notes in a 4-4 measure. If you play them all the same and without any difference in timing or direction, then you hear four equal beats that are irrelevant to one another. There are just four sounds without any context, but if you differentiate the sound of just one note, you will have a completely different context. All of a sudden, they're grouped, and because one note sounds different than the rest, it creates movement. Let me illustrate with the waltz. There are many ways to create pulse in a waltz, but playing all three beats the same is not one. To give the impression of buoyancy, you want to play the first beat up in staccato. So if I use my two hands, it would be, and this is down on the second beat, and then have an active third beat that connects you back to the first beat. You can also reverse the direction and get a totally different sound. Four, there's no other option but to make each direction different. Not only that, modifying the length of each beat will also make a different effect. So this is short up and staccato, and this is longer. Now, to make it even smoother sounding, you can vary the pattern of every measure and do them slightly different. So instead of down, up, four repeating patterns, right? You could do two different iterations repeated two times, making it for one bigger umbrella of movement. So you could do or the other way around. So As you may have already figured out, in a 4-4, you pulsate every four notes. Or... Now, I'm going to tell you something unusual. Contrary to popular belief, when you want to highlight or make a sound ring or project more, you release the tension immediately after the sound happened. If you hold the tension longer on a note, or in other words, if you keep pressing, the sound dampens because the hammer stays close to the strings after the initial impact, not leaving room for the sound to vibrate and thus not projecting as much. Kinda dies. When you strike the key and release the tension right away, the hammer drops, making room for the vibration to travel even more. So I'm gonna stay on the key, but I'm releasing the tension right away. So next time, instead of pressing and digging, see, this has a different effect if I do. To this.
you actually hear the second one much better. Not only will this make your practice more interesting, curious, and enjoyable, it will also make the playing much easier. I'm Ferdi Talan. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and happy practicing.